Islands in the sun Islands in the fun mm. Welcome, welcome one and all to the land of death Trini to the bone Bego to the bone When it come to back and all well They can't beat we at Trini to the bone Bego to the Abundantly, the brethren they full of energy. Some people say God is a trini, paradise or not convincingly. God gave us a spirit fiery, but nothing in the world about the we. But look, a smart man gone with with money. We still come out and mash up the party. Sweet, sweet TNT. Oh, how I love up this country. Sweet, sweet TNT. No place in this world I'd rather be. flowy back piece. Well, that was my carnival costume and I was lucky enough to wear it several times after that, um, which it was amazing. Not many people get to use that carnival costume again, but I am magic. What can I do for you? So I'm here tonight. I made you a little video to introduce you to carnival, but due to um, statistical difficulties, is that the right word? Anyway, we, <laughs> we were not able to do the video. So after the show, we'll put it on our YouTube channel. Um, tonight, we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be making, so um, very traditional Trinidadian food and drink because uh, we're going to mask our meal. We all know it. I renamed it a Trini meal. Growing up uh, in the Caribbean to make ginger beer, on our own. So you peel the ginger, you boil it. Actually, no, you peel the ginger, you put it in water, you put it in the sun for a couple of days. And the biggest thing about doing, making your own ginger beer is that if you don't want the bottle, it could explode. And we have all, any Trinidadian will tell you, be very careful, watch the bottle, don't let it explode, because it will. So, 
um, recently when I was in Florida, um, my mom went to Audi and my mom likes ginger beer because she grew up with that. And I was like, hmm, there's so much ginger beer in the fridge. What cocktails could I make? I was like, oh, a tree mule. Then I got lucky. I went to the liquor store and guess what, people? Stoli. And if you know me, I'm a Stoli kind of gal. Like Stoli anything on top of Stoli with some Stoli. So they had this Stoli lemon. Lime, sorry, lime. But sadly, in New York, I cannot find the big bottles of it. It really kind of sucks. But um, Charlie got me a bunch of these little ones, and that's the only time I could find it. So, you know me, I love my cocktails. So, should we go ahead and make ourselves a drink, people? Yes. That time, I know. I know that you're. You're. Um, you're. Facts of that Trinidad will come out throughout this entire evening. I oh, have a oh, feeling. actually, yes, honey. I have a lot of stuff written down. Absolutely. So, <laughs> okay, so this is the ginger beer I got. Um, I live in Jackson Heights, and I searched all over Jackson Heights, and they didn't have this particular ginger beer. Again, my um, mom went in Florida from Audi. Is that it, Audi? Yep. And so I just Instacarted it. I brought it down just for you because it has a smoky taste. It's really, really good, right? Then I put two of these in there. <laughs> if you know me, I like my cocktails, okay? <laughs> you can put one if you like, you know? And I pulled out my stilly masca mule glass, which is cup, which is lovely. And then I pulled out my Trinidad glass, and then I was like, oh, mm, that's just too small. Sorry, that is too small for sugar. <laughs> so I pulled out my big girl pretty glass. Mm -hmm. So you make two parts ginger beer, whatever your two parts might be. What are your two parts? Could be one part and two parts. Or two little tiny bottles. <laughs> what did we say the size of these were? Like about an ounce and a half. So that's about three ounces. Well, maybe you want to use three. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you just mix it together and you add some lime and a straw. How are we doing? Mix. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, my glass must have a hole. Half of my thing is missing. <laughs> <laughs> I have my, I have my non-alcoholic version. <laughs> you have your non-alcoholic version? Ginger beer is actually very good for your um digestive system. You didn't you didn't see that, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I love, I love, love, love ginger beer, but I sometimes find it's a little too strong or a little too sweet. So to like cut down on the sugar a little and cut down on the ginger a little, I'm using some lime bubbly. Yes. And yes, so I'm doing half lime bubbly, half ginger beer to like counteract some of that really sweet sweetness. Ginger. Yes. And the sweetness. Yeah. You guys like my head Look what I got for you. Love it. All of this I did just for you. <laughs> <laughs> so cheers everyone enjoy my trini mule cheers cheers and if you're like me just get a bigger cup <laughs> we even put that on the recipe card sugar's big girl glass get a big girl pretty glass honey can you get one with rhinestones on it do it what are you gonna do <laughs> so what do you want to do now should i give you a few tidbits about trinidad I don't well, want to it. Do you want to start the cooking? Before we move on, and we could stay on the cocktail for a minute. This is, yeah. is this really a traditional Trinidadian cocktail? Is this just a cocktail that you like to make? <laughs> I reinvented. That, that's what I did. Okay. It's not, um, ginger beer is a Trinidad, a typical, uh, uh, typical Trinidadian drink. Everybody in Trinidad drinks ginger beer. Um, and Stoli, is just a sugar thing that you know I love Mistoli. And so when they came together so nicely, when I walked in, 
You can ask my sister. I walked into the liquor store and I said, I'm going to make Moscow meals with the ginger beer that we have. And I saw the lime stoli. I thought the gods opened up the <laughs> and sang to me and said, Sugar, this is for you. So I feel rightfully to claim this as a Trini mule. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. It's totally delicious. And for those, and so also Stoli is one of our sponsors. We love Stoli. Shout out to Stoli. Um, also realized, sorry about the delayed start. I didn't even tell three of them yet. Apparently the live hadn't started when Sugar started talking. Oh, really? <laughs> I thought it started. Apparently it Why? didn't. So. Do I have to start talking again? Because I can do that. No, no it, I got it. I got it. Most of it. I, I just. I was like, I don't see red. So you know, technology. It happens. Um, Technical is a learning curve. Right. And a learning curve. I was wondering but, if the comments were quiet. So I, exactly. I same. Open. And I looked up and I was like, it still says go live. That's wrong. Oh, <laughs> like, okay. Technology. So did we get the recipe? At least did we get the recipe for my Trini meal? Yes. Oh, it was literally the first like 30 seconds of the whole thing. Um, but we are here, like Sugar said, and I think most of everyone got it. We're here, you know, with Black History Month. Sugar is our first black monarch of the Imperial Court of New York. That part I know got cut off. Empress 30 and soon to be Empress 35. Um, and tonight we are continuing on last month's beneficiary with Princess Janae Place, um, as you see in the bottom for the beneficiary information. Also, we've learned since last month that Apple products, just for all you Apple users, if you click on that icmy.org backslash kitchen link, you probably won't be able to use it because for whatever reason, the linkages is weird from Facebook. So I put in, we put in the direct PayPal link in the comments below. So make sure to click on that to make ease of donations. And please donate as much as you can. Every penny counts. Um, much need now in COVID. But, and then also, I, I don't know if it was cut off or not, but Sugar made an amazing video. That we will, again, technology. And we will include it with all promos of this video afterwards and on the YouTube. It's an amazing video about Trinidad, especially because now Sugar, talk about Carnival again real quick. Oh my God, Carnival um, is, Carnival's the most amazing thing. And um, Trinidad right now has a population of about 1, 1 million, 1 1.4 million people. Over Carnival, that population literally doubles. And while Trinidad is one of the richest uh, country Caribbean islands, we don't, it's tourism is not something that we um, do very, you know, that's not how we raise our money. We raise, we have, we actually export about 30%, I want to say, of oil to the United States. We have cocoa beans that we export from Trinidad. We have a thing called the La Brea Tarp. Tart Lake, uh, Pitch Lake, which you get asphalt out, and they've been taking asphalt and asphalt out of this lake, and it just regenerates. So we are a very rich country. We were also, we do a lot of natural gases right now. So we're a very rich country. Um, so for Carnival, my family, we go back. My aunt has one house, and we go, you stop. Wherever you stop is where you drop, because there's so many people in the house. But that's the beauty of it. You have to rent a minivan to take us to all the different parties that they call FETs. Uh, and we just, uh, we were supposed, so Carnival is the Monday and Tuesday prior to Ash Wednesday would be next week. But right now, if the world wasn't, if we were in a free world, I would be in Trinidad and not doing this. <laughs> not that I don't mind doing this, but I prefer to be in Trinidad. But um, so, we, it's just, it starts at, uh, Carnival starts, the parties start around December, I'm just going to say. But if you want to go to Trinidad for Carnival in February, you have to buy your Carnival costume in August. You have to buy your ticket no later than November. And then you have to buy your tickets for all the different parties by 
January. Otherwise, you're not going anywhere because everything just gets sold out. But it is, we go down for one, two weeks and it's just nonstop partying, nonstop partying. I took a friend of mine a few years ago, I said Ozzy, and the third day he was there, he goes, can I ask you a question? I go, sure. He goes, when do we sleep? I go, on the plane going home. <laughs> And he was like, and really, we slept on the plane. We we looked at each other and we fell asleep. And that was it. You wake up and then you come home, you rest. It's the most exciting, fantastic thing. Plus my family in itself is the most amazing group of people. And so when we get together, like we really get together. I was telling people we travel in little packs like this. It's very, you know, so it's great. Um, and I miss my, my, my aunt internet and my uncle and but hopefully everybody stays well and next year, as they would say, please the Lord, we will all go to Trinidad for Carnival. Well, me, anyway. I'm not sure. Well, it's yeah. on my on my bucket list is going to Carnival with Sugar because I wouldn't go on my own. I I, I would want to go with you to do all the things. Well, you, you know, what, what SPF you use on Fire Island? I, I I would need like a full umbrella headpiece. Yeah, you um, need a lot of SPF. It's all outside. You're in the sun, and and it's the most amazing thing. But hey, I would love to have you. Uh, well, uh, Christine is saying he, her and Charlie are in for next year. So really, all right. Lots, that's, that's all. I don't know if they have that much at one time. We'll, anyway. we'll hope that it's we'll hope that it's open next year or the following year or yes. hopefully soon. We hope the world is free again next year by the end of the year. Hopefully, cross <laughs> our fingers. So yeah, I, I don't think we're getting any questions on the cocktails. We're just getting a lot of love. And a lot of oh, yeah. sugar is amazing and sugar's the best. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yes. Okay, Revy is going as well. Revy's in, Revy's in, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, love it. I love this sugar because there are people using this strange woman's name. Who's Rhonda? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I invited all my neighbors to join us tonight. My neighbors. Hi, neighbors. My, yes, my neighbors are my building. My, my neighbors in my building are amazing. I invited a lot of my friends and my family should be out there someplace. You know, they call me um, Auntie Rhonda the Beautiful. That's what my family calls me. And that's not a lie. They'll prove, they'll let you know that. So. <laughs> <laughs> So should we start this thing? Let's do sure. this. I think so. Let's, let's get yeah. some food. So kalalu is typically a side dish that we use for Sunday, good Sunday cooked food. You, go, you come home Sunday from church and is macaroni pie and kalalu and um, potato salad and stew chicken and all that sort of stuff. And I love kalalu. So like I said, it's usually a side dish, but I just put everything in the bottom of the plate and I pour it right over the top. Um, Jamaicans, we the way we make it, it's more liquid. Jamaicans make it more like a dried, um, like a dried, they, they take the bush and it's not as good as we do it and they have it for breakfast. So almost every island uses, uh, has a different version of it. Um, and Kalalu is actually a plant, like a, it's a bush, it's a, but because we don't get that here, we use cream spinach, which is just as good. So what we're gonna do is start with, and what's most important is when you're doing this recipe, all the ingredients should be, fr you freeze everything, everything should be frozen. And when you put it in the pot, you're putting it in the pot frozen. Mm -hmm. And then you're cooking it on a slow stove. So we're gonna start with the crabs. And I got in my little crab store, right? Oh. And I put the crabs in the bottom of the pan. First things first, right? Then after the crab, we're gonna put the onions. I like love vegetables, so I do. I, I do a lot of onions. I, this is one large onion. Okay. Put that in the pan. Then after the onions. You have to get a pump. Right now, pumpkin's in season, so it's very easy to get it. Don't try to get it in Atlanta, though, because that's not happening. But also, we found out the last time over Christmas that you can actually buy the can of pumpkin 
that they have in here for to make the pumpkin pies. You can buy those cans, but if you can get fresh pumpkin, and also because pumpkin comes in such large, you can cut it up and you can um, you can freeze it. It freezes very well. So we're gonna put in a bunch of these chunks of pumpkin. Now you know. People, normally when people are giving a recipe, they're like, oh, put in two cups of pumpkin and one cup of this. No, there's a handful of pumpkin you put inside the pots, right? However you please, you like it, right? After the pumpkin, you put in the okros. Now, I got these in my little local store. Right? So wait, that's wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm unmuting myself because what, what did you call that? Okra. <laughs> What is it called? Oak rose. It's called okra. Okra? 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 Okra. That was just adorable. Well, not if you enjoy that. It's called okra. You make some okra, right? Again, everything is still frozen. And you put that in the pot. Right? So that after the okra, you put your seasoning in. So whatever, and okay, because I'm making this Caribbean dish, what happened? They, they have a request for you to slow down a little. I think people oh, are trying right. to break down notes and things. Right. Okay, okay. So maybe go um, over in the pot already. So I'll go over, okay? So this is crab and callaloo. You can make it without callaloo, I mean without crab, um, my cousin's husband actually once made it for me with saltfish. You know what saltfish is? Codfish, salted codfish? Yeah. So, you, but in order for you to cook it properly, you have to layer it in the pot. Otherwise, it's not going to come out well. So, your first layer would be crab. And your second layer would be your onions. Your third layer would be your pumpkin. All of these ingredients, well, the crab is frozen, the pumpkin was frozen. Um, then you put in your frozen okras, and then you put in your seasoning, right? So I'm going to put in, in Trinidad, we have a thing called green seasoning, and it's a um, garlic and uh, cilantro and um, uh, celery. And my uncle sits, when I go to Trinidad, I'm like, I want a big bottle of seasoning or whatever, and he sits and he peels and he cleans and he makes, it's the most amazing thing ever, but we can't get it here. So actually, this Goya seasoning actually is pretty good because it has everything in it. So I put a little bit of that in there, right? Can you put the, the label of what it is? It says, can you see it? All right. And then I put a little adobo in there because what does an adobo make good? Tastes good, right? I put a little adobo in there, right? Then I add a little bit of paprika. This is just my, this, these are the spices that I like. So whatever spices are good for you. And I added, um, I'm not gonna put any black pepper in here. <laughs> so along the, that level with the seasoning, you get a batch of bonnet pepper. Scotch bonnet peppers come from Trinidad. When you, and they make pepper sauce with this, not hot sauce and not whatever you get in the Mexican place. You, they make hot sauce. When you make hot sauce with these peppers, whatever touches it, technically you can't touch anything else with, just, right? And it's very important that this, this, I think, I don't know how to say it with, it can't, it can't break inside the pot because if it breaks inside the pot, you know, you go the pepper bus, the pepper bus. That's a bad thing. Okay, so you put that in there on top. Right? Party seasoning. Then you take your cream spinach. So what I have is two boxes of, and you can get this in your local uh, grocery store. Um, it's very good by itself too. If you just want a lazy evening, you just microwave it and it was so good so good right so i have two of those that's like this and again that's also still frozen 
cut in there. Two of these. Make my mama proud. Right? Does your mama have Facebook? Say that again. Does your mom have Facebook? Believe it or not, she does, honey. Oh, I mean, I love her mom. She's the most lovely woman ever, but I was just curious if she had Facebook. So maybe she's, she's on there. Oh, yeah, she's definitely on there. Because I told her she better be on there. <laughs> Hi, Hi. So, what happened to my cutting board? Also, because, again, I like garlic, I'm going to add a couple of cloves of garlic in here. And I pre-did everything except for the garlic. So I'm gonna cut well, these. While, you, while you do that, there was a question about whose pan is on the screen. And that is Michael's pan. He's following along Sugar's recipe. So, yeah. Well, I too do not have the garlic ready. <laughs> right. So while you both peel your garlic, I think Michael, you skipped the crab, right? Yes, we did because for just our, our, our preference, yes. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to do. You don't have to do. You don't have to put the crabs in it. And Michael, did you cube your frozen cream spinach? It just seemed easy. Okay. <laughs> it looked like tofu or something. So I was kind of curious what would that that was going on there. For it to fit in my pan the best. Yeah. There. Ah. Okay, right there. <laughs> but um. Okay. So I put the spin the thing and then. I'm gonna and again, we don't really cook by measuring cups, so I'm gonna say break off a bunch of cilantro, my new favorite. Um, right? I broke off a bunch of cilantro. I'm gonna wash it. And then I'm gonna chop it up, and I'm gonna put that in. <laughs> some, of, some of the people are still chopping pumpkins over here. Pumpkin is the hardest thing to cut. That's why you pre-cut pumpkin. Should I have said that to you? Pre-cut the pumpkin? <laughs> we'll update the recipe that we posted because some of these things yeah, are in there. Yes. And then I also made another little video which will go through the steps so that you can keep it for posterity and future use. Right? <laughs> After that, then, this is so important, people. This is coconut milk. Am I holding it right? There is also cream de coco. This is sweet. This is what you make uh, cocktails with. You want to make pina colada? You make a pina colada, but you put this in Kalalu and it, right, Roxanne? <laughs> That's, my sister did that not too long ago. <laughs> it still tastes good. <laughs> also, what she did is she put imitation um, crab in it. So if you want to do use imitation crab, you can do that. Me, I prefer the real thing. Because, yeah, and I got those rock rock crabs from um, the little grocery, the fish, the fish uh, place not too far away from me. And you want to hear something funny? So I went out and I bought all the ingredients. Whoop. I, just, I bought all the ingredients and... Um, when I, went, I opened the first can to prepare, I said, before I throw this in, let me taste it. And guess what? I got the right one. So I had to run back out right before I got dressed to get the right one. I'm like, Ugh. Okay, and then you throw that over the top of it. Right? You cover it with your little whatever. And then you turn on your oven. Okay, one more. On a very low, turn on your stove on a low heat. You kind of let all everything. It takes about forty-five minutes for everything to cook and season and blend together. So, like I said, I did make that little video. Um, so I don't know, Michael, if you want to show that. So I'll walk you through the whole thing again. And ready. And ready. So here's how you make up. How you lay it in the pot. So you put your crabs. That's right. And you put your onions. Then you put your pumpkin. 
I made this video. Ah, then you put your okras. I'm getting so good at technical stuff. Seasonings, yes. The pepper, again, very careful, very careful. The spin, cream spinach. And your coconut milk. And there you go. Cook on a low heat for 45 minutes and ta-da! There you go. And it's lovely. When I bought the peppers today, the guy in the grocery store, he goes, isn't that a problem for you? I go, mm, no. <laughs> so you put that in a small thing and you, you um, have a couple of cocktails with your friends and... Well, Sugar, that video was the perfect amount of time for me to make my cocktail again. See now? I'm, I wasn't that smart. I didn't make mine in that time. But. You know, Sugar, Yes. In, in Puerto Rico, we have uh, a little pepper that's called Ajises Dulces, which is very similar to the Scotch Bunny. And yes. I made a mistake of once going to the store and without realizing it, picked up a whole thing of that, of Scotch Bunny. I went home and I made my rice and I put my, my peppers in there. I cut it nicely and put it in there. When I tasted that rice, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> you know, that's important to mention. I put the pepper in there, but you don't, don't cut up that pepper because the seeds in the pepper itself are super spicy. Mm -hmm. So you just leave it in there and let it boil. Um, you just cut up so it, it just gives it a little bit of flavor. You don't want to, yeah. If 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 you, oh no, oh no, never no. again. <laughs> no, it's never. You know, if you're cooking such an amazing meal, and when you're cooking and all the preparation, and your 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 mouth is just watering for this, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, you put the pepper and you can't eat it. You're like after all of that. So that's, that's actually pretty sad. That's so pretty sugar, sad. One of my questions was going to be when I looked at your recipe, there wasn't any seasoning in the recipe. So <laughs> you, you were like, I got a little this, got a little that. That's why I actually showed the picture. So I was very curious how that one scotch bonnet that you're not cutting open is going to flavor the thing. But you actually uh, had a lot of things. You added paprika, you added two different Saison products. Yes. So yes. You actually add a lot of flavor to it. So I feel like we yes. need to put a, like, revise. Yeah, because I, yeah, I added the, the seasoning, different kinds of seasoning, and I also added the cilantro because it's my new favorite flavor right now. I love cilantro, yeah. I yeah. love cilantro. <laughs> yeah, and I added the garlic. So, but normally you would, we would put our green seasoning in it, and all it'll be all of that would be in there already. So you wouldn't have to. I only had just a little bit. Um, I don't know if my cousins are watching. Nicole, Nadine, could you tell your dad I'm out of green seasoning? And Michael did send me a video of a young lady who was making it, but no. I prefer to just have my uncle make it. We need, we need like an asterisk, either like a few tablespoons of green seasoning or these other six things. <laughs> That's why I was running back to my cupboard like, what? Yes, so, so we do have one question from Revy. She's asking, what do you eat it with? Oh, well, okay. Again, it's a Sunday. They usually cook it on Sunday. Good Sunday cooked food. You come home from church and you make a macaroni pie. Macaroni pie is kind of like baked macaroni and cheese, but better because it's got in it. I, I don't know how to explain it. And it's pasta and cheese with milk it's just the most amazing like just talking about it my mouth is watering so and then you can eat it like that um you can eat it as a soup i have a friend my friend mark and he, he puts it when it comes over he puts it in a soup bowl and he eats it like soup you know again uh, you can put it over i put it over everything i'll put it over like peas and rice which is our uh kind of like a roast on pollo Again, but I don't really, mm. yeah, so I don't really eat chicken. So it's like peas and rice, you make peas and rice, you brown the rice and and you put that over, you put the kalu over it. But since that I have so much and, and it freezes really well. People laugh at me, but I will eat kalu that I made on Thanksgiving. I will eat that in January. 
And I would love it. My sister was here in September and she made Kalalu and um, I pulled it out of the, uh, uh, the refrigerator. I came back from Miami on January 19th. I pulled it out on the 20th and I heat that up and she had the crab legs in it and everything. I heat it up. It was well, one of your neighbors, I think, Ilana, yes, is making it with you. She said, she said she's still trying to catch up to you. She's the one who said she was still on pumpkin when you were on like, <laughs> oh, so um, she, 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 pumpkin is so if was, <laughs> she was asking if there was any other secret ingredients because I feel like um, it's one of those oh, grandma recipes. You're holding if something. You, if you want to add a little extra flavor, I you can put in. Um, a chicken bouillon cube, or you can put in a vegetable bouillon cube. I was going to ask about salt because there you didn't add any salt at any point. Girl, I can't be eating no salt. I'm old. <laughs> so I don't even cook with salt anymore. I can't do it. <laughs> I just started taking high blood pressure medication. You know, <laughs> like History Month, they say we might look good when we die, but the insides we just we just all come together. <laughs> oh, Alana's almost done with pumpkin. She said uh, Adobo has salt, so you did add salt, apparently. I didn't. Uh, sorry, say that again. She, they're almost done with their pumpkin, and Adobo does have salt. Those seasoning. Adobo does have pumpkin. salt, so I did add because you don't want it to taste really. Food. That that is why I make my own Adobo. I don't put salt in mine. <laughs> How do you make, see now, that's a recipe a girl needs to have. <laughs> Good question. Do, do you want to share? Yes, of course. I use uh, ground cumin. I use a little bit of turmeric to give it the color. I also use oregano, uh, the oregano leaves, and garlic. And I mix all that together, and that's my adobo. You can put a little bit of uh, paprika if you want to, but it's not necessary. Or smoked paprika if you want to mm. do that. And you know then, what I want you to do? Make some for me. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Next sure. time I see then you, I just hand that. it to me. Like when, this. When, I, when I cook, then I add the salt separately. That way it's not in the adobo. Yeah. And yeah, I can't, I can't do salt anymore. Well, I'm getting older. I feel like smoked paprika is the secret ingredient to everything. So. I love it. I think so, too. I act, you know where I get my paprika? Marshall's. They have the most unusual flavors of paprika. <laughs> right? This one was, oh, yeah. this one was like $2.99. <laughs> if you go to Marshall's and TJ Maxx at Home Goods, they have the best spices, the most unusual spices. <laughs> and they have blue cheese stuffed olives. Ooh. Right? Ooh. Do you know what you make with a blue cheese stuffed olive? Ooh. I do love those stores, but. Oh, you go, you, you make a blue cheese martini with get your stoli. <laughs> get your stoli, and you get your vermouth, and you take you pour the vermouth in the glass, and you swirl it around, and you pour the rest out, <laughs> and then you put your stoli in there with a couple of blue cheese olives, and then you let the chunks from the blue cheese fall gingerly into the bottom of the glass. <laughs> So that when you taste it, when well, you taste it, oh. it's like dinner and a cocktail mixed in one. Now I want one. See now? Me too. I put some in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> so Christine says, paprika has flavors. Did I miss a meeting? <laughs> <laughs> there's all kinds of flavors of paprika. This one. I got you, girl. I got you. <laughs> yeah, this you got so sweet paprika, there's smoked paprika, there's regular paprika. Jen, you're the chef. Let us know. Yeah. And every every country, especially Middle Eastern countries in particular, paprika is like a, a specific thing. So if you're getting it from like Iran or if you're getting it from from Greece, it's gonna be a completely different thing. And having it smoked or not is a whole nother level of a thing. So wherever you're getting your smoked paprika from, it, it's a whole Experience the smoked paprika, especially on a deviled egg, which I know you like, Christine, oh. is amazing. Is it what? <laughs> you know, I don't eat eggs. Oh, and we have another friend commenting. Lorena only just said martini, but I feel like that word had a lot of meaning. So, <laughs> love you, Lorena. Hi. 
Oh, that's for Lorena. Oh, that's my, that's my friend in Shirley, Long Island. Wow. <laughs> I'm a summer place girl. Yes. And Dolores, and Dolores, uh -huh. our amazing member Dolores, calling out Sugar's. Sugar's been having a moment there with that martini. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a really good Dolores. martini story. So one weekend, Jen, Grandpa, and I were on Fire Island, and Jen and Grandpa decides to. Grandpa is Jen's wife. Decides to go to the beach to have a romantic afternoon and decides to leave me at the bar. I was like, girl, what am I going to do? She's like, meet your friends, have a good time. I said, okay. So I'm sitting at the bar. Johnny Poole is uh, bartending. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to have a martini. Then I go, okay, I'll have another martini. Mm -hmm. And then I go, okay, Johnny, I'll have another martini. He goes, one martini, two martini, three martini, floor. And I said, uh, no, did you say four? Okay, I'll have another martini. And I walked home that night. I did. <laughs> I was good. They loved me. They That's loved very me. Good. <laughs> they loved me. Let me get some ice from that pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, have we caught up with the pumpkin? Are we still on the pumpkin? <laughs> well, um, I think we could take a minute to talk about the beneficiary and so you get your reveal ready. Do you have your reveal? I refresh my cocktail. Okay, refresh the cocktail. We'll talk about the beneficiary for a minute. <laughs> so, hello. Oh, I'm big. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I refresh my cocktail a few times. Live in Chan with sugar. And you have to refresh your cocktail a few times when you're talking to sugar. It's great. Um, so we kept the same beneficiary from last month because we figured Black History Month and we only raised a little bit last month. We figured let's raise a little bit more. So this can eight places in the Bronx they primarily service people that are people of color. Um, they reach out to many, many people of transgender experience, whether you're actually trans or on some kind of spectrum, whatever you're doing in that world. Um, they're community-based, they are a safe space, and they do an amazing array of uh, helping things, whether it's with housing or uh, job training. They're accessible and they're critical and their services are really, really amazing. So we hope that this month is gonna to help to make our check a little bit bigger from the last month. Um, they do housing stuff and case management and they're really great. The chat, I think we're gonna put the link there because the, the link that we put on the Facebook doesn't always work. So we're gonna put the link all the places and it's gonna be open until the end of the month. So if you're not able to donate today, you can donate throughout the rest of the month. So if you enjoyed this moment, hanging out with us, um, and we're gonna ask you to donate the amount of a Good Girl Pretty Glass double cocktail, um, which in a New York City bar, I feel like would be like $24 or something. So I'm gonna ask you to donate $24. <laughs> and, and if I must, uh, today, if you donate $24, your name will be entered into a raffle 24 times. I think it's too late for that. Oh, is it too late? Anyway, uh, okay. I'll, show you, <laughs> I'll show you the raffle prizes. I have two. Okay. One, a boy. Valentine's, it's like, um, it's a bow tie, a brooch, you know, jock strap. What's in a raffle basket? You know, a little teddy bear, some, a mask. Some gloves, and then I have some jewelry for the women. So make sure you stay till the end to see if you have won the raffle. My peanut gallery asked if it was worn, sugar. I'm sorry. My peanut gallery asked if the jock strap had been worn. <laughs> oh, do you want it to be worn? Because I can have that arranged. I do live in Jackson Heights. <laughs> you tell me. It's up to you. <laughs> I am very accommodating. <laughs> so some very attractive neighbors in this building. I think they'll do that for me. What do you think? <laughs> well, we do thank everyone that's donated up until five o'clock because that was the cutoff, unfortunately, because yes. everything is digital and we had to try to clip everything early. But for I think we I think I, there was about eight or nine people actually that donated prior to the event. So all their names are right here in this box. You can see. The oh my. Oh yeah, and a little later we'll draw that because there's two baskets, and okay. so 
the winners. Um, and we'll try to get this going every month, see if we can put together something so it's, you know, it's more fun. Good. All right, so let's continue with the recipe, though. Because yeah. it's smelling real good in my house, and I'm getting <laughs> So um, once everything is cooked, it comes out a little chunky. Because you have, oh, I put it in this glass bowl so you can see it. So you have the chunks of pumpkin and chunks of onion and all that. In, oh, my God. So you have to blend it and you take the crab out, take the pepper out. What did I say, people? Oh. Pepper out. out, right? So back in the days in Trinidad, we used to do use this. Who knows what this is? It's called it's a, a swizzle it's stick. A mixer. It's a mixer. Yeah, it's a mixer. It's a swizzle stick. So you put it in here and you do this with it. Wait, can and you I, put that closer to the camera? Yeah. You're frothing with it. It's a little weird yeah. thing. You froth, yeah. This was the original. That's new. Yeah. But this is. And stuff like that. You can go like this it and you make it. It's forever to do it. And so I just keep it in my kitchen for decoration now. <laughs> and God forbid you did some stuff when your mom was making Kalaloo, you would get what up? What up? Right? No joke. Okay. <laughs> it was beautiful. So I have my little blender here, and I got to plug her in. Yeah, my kitchen is challenged with plugs, so I got it. Oh, I, okay. I'm going to go over here. That, that's, a, that's a blender? Yeah, well, it's a um, hand mixer from 1962. Ooh. I, you know, honey, you know. You got to get you an immersion blender, honey. Now, I have a bullet, but I didn't want to take it down because I always cut myself with the blades. And I know what oh. you're I'm getting you next. <laughs> no, honey, I almost caught my house on fire. Get me a toaster oven. Okay, look, look at Michael's screen. One of these, Shug. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. You see, this one is even beige. They don't even make beige ones anymore. This is from literally from 1962. Beige. <laughs> While she does that, sorry, we'll mute her for a moment. So Jen, we have a, a request for a future. Oh, Adriana. Hi. Hi, Jackson. Hi. Adriana. <laughs> yeah, the pecan bar recipe is the easiest thing ever. So I, oh I will send it to her so she can send it to you. It's the easiest thing. Yes, it is. Like the first time Jen made those pecan bars, I was like, what the hell is this crap? I'm telling you. And Adriana was nice enough to bring me a little uh, fruit tart for my birthday. And I really appreciate it. And while I promise you, and I, let me show you, I still have pecan tarts in my refreezer when Jen made it for me a year ago. <laughs> I could they do very well, right? So, um, when she said, oh, here, happy birthday, her and her two kids, they came and they sang me happy birthday. And really nice And my neighbor's kids downstairs made me the best card ever. Um, it was so beautiful, I didn't want to cry right now. But, and um, so she, I was like, oh, I'll trade you pastries. And I gave her a couple of pastries for her and her husband, who happened also to be a chef, which is, um, and then the next day, she was like, oh my God, tell Jen these are really good. And then the next day she goes, do you have any more of those things? Because Remy needs those right now, right now. And I was like, girl, come and get them. Come and get them because they're sitting on the table. And every time I pass the table, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I can't be doing that. So I gave her the plate. And then she was like, I can't have those cracked things in my house anymore. <laughs> That's like, I'm not that is an accurate That's a great description. Great commercial for my pecan caramel. Oh my god, they're the best things. Ever. Like you just can just eat them. They're light. They're great. They're great. Anyway, so we mixed it, right? And then once you mix it, as a child, you can lick those things. Remember, you used to lick those things. That's how we all start. By oh, that was that was <laughs> comment. How are you supposed to lick the blades on that weird single mixer thing, Michael? 
<laughs> she doesn't know what an immersion blender is either. <laughs> by the time you buy that weird single blended thing, you should know how to lick by now. No, they, they can get things super fine and it's beautiful. I use them for everything, like pea soup and everything. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sugar, Dolores has an avocado green mixer straight from the 70s. Really? Oh, we need to see a picture of that one day. Dolores, are you going to join us on a cooking show soon with your avocado? Yeah, I, I think so. That's a good idea. <laughs> with a little dance lesson in between. Yes. Oh, thank you. I want a dance lesson. I'll do some yoga in the middle. <laughs> so I actually have macaroni pie in my refrigerator from when my sister was here in September, and I was going to defrost it, but... I already had my allotment of carbs today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take some of this. I'm gonna scoop it out. Okay, I'm gonna scoop this out in a bowl. I'm gonna put oh, then you put you can put the crabs back in it, right? You put a crab there, you put the crabs back in it. Girl, I wish you guys were here. I really do. I am going to drink this from a straw. I mean, I'm only like a 20 minute Uber away. So. Yes, well come on over girl, cause I just came back from Florida. My blood has not thickened enough to go outside. So, <laughs> see, this is what it looks like. It's amazing. And Oh my God, who made this? It's all right. <laughs> I love you, sugar. <laughs> we might have to censor this part of the video. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, like I said, I like a lot of vegetables in all my food. All my food starts with onions, tomatoes, mushrooms, peppers, so, and then I put in there. I don't eat a lot of chicken. I don't eat red meat. I don't eat pork. I don't eat this. I don't eat. I'm a complicated eater. But so this has onions and the pumpkin and everything. And I only blended it for for um in the inches of time. I blended it short for a short time. But you can blend it longer, and you can eat it like like I said, like a soup or whatever. But please take the pepper out. I've done that before. You know, so that's my thing. And then the kitchen magic, the other one's still cooking. I'm going to eat this over the next couple of days. I told Jenna I'd bring her some. But now that I taste it, I'm like, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to share the really good things. But I love her, so I will take her some. And um, when that cooks, I'm going to put it in the freezer. I put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer, and like, Couple of Sundays in the next month or so, I'll take one out. I'll defrost it and I'll eat it, and maybe I'll take out my macaroni pie. Maybe I'll make fresh one or whatever, and I'll just I'll just sit and eat it with a spoon because why? It's amazing. <laughs> well, we we do have a couple of questions. Lorena is asking, "What about me?" Ah! Girl, I'm gonna come see you not this weekend, next weekend. We're going to go out. in Long Island. You can actually do in-person dining in Long Island. So we're going to, I'm going to come out and see you soon, and I'll bring you some. Well, it yeah, is I don't think we have any actual questions. We just have a lot of love from a lot of friends and neighbors. Oh, like, yeah. I appreciate you guys so much. Well, my neighbors should knock on my door, and I'll make you a Trini mule. But I think Dolores did say yes to like, yes, let's have a Dolores uh, cooking show. So I think so. I have like yes. food. Yes. What, what would you make, Dolores? What would your choices be while I eat my food? <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait for that comment. We also have. Before you like eat the rest of the bowl, I think it's time to pull the raffle winners. Oh, wait, wait, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> 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 okay, pull the raffle. 
But also, I believe that our it's our board president, Coco, Empress Coco Lachine, is on as we go to New York saying, isn't Trigger supposed to wear a hairnet health code? Girl, I'm cooking for myself. It's a hairnet. Right? right? Okay. See, look. Besides, I only took this out of the package today. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to... <laughs> Sorry, comments are good. Um, interrupting you guys? Okay. Okay. Mm. TV magic. TV magic. That's the only way she was going. Yeah, TV magic, honey. All right. Today. Sugar, which one is the first basket? Um. Well, it all, one's a male basket, one's a female basket. One has jewelry in it, and then. So this is the male basket with the jock strap and the teddy bear and the leather bracelet with a matching mask. The jock strap has a matching mask. Just so you do. Um, and then it has beautiful uh dragonfly pin in it. And then of course we have a fan. And the female basket has jewelry, uh, a necklace, uh, opera length gloves. It's all for val it's good date night stuff. It's all for Valentine's, you know. You put on your jewelry, the gloves, you get your fan, and you have a date night. That's all you need. So you tell me who, whoever wins, whatever they want, whichever one they want. If Wait, you're watching I should I get the necklace? Hold on. If they're watching, because there's a lot of there's a, literally there's a lot in here, people. So yeah, a lot in there? Okay, let me get all the stuff because I took I, so we have in the female basket some sexy bunny ears. I, I keep forgetting it's the opposite side. We have a beautiful necklace with a matching ring, which I decided not to wear today because I was like, oh that matched my outfit, girl. Uh, another bracelet. A sequence, red sequence mask. <laughs> Don't bite into the apple. It's a hairpin. That's cute. Yeah, right? You have a fan and some opera length gloves. So that's all in the female basket. So okay. whatever, whatever you want. So sugar, pick which basket's the first basket. Make it easy. Make it easy? Well, what yep. happens if a boy wins a girl basket? I don't know the boy basket. If they so, can give it to a friend, or maybe they are. Yeah. Who knows? Them? You don't know what people want to use. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> All right. Let me know. So the boy basket. Okay. okay. So the jock basket is first. Yes. Well, our, winner, our winner is, there's so many of these. Thank you, everyone who donated. Yeah. <laughs> I can almost see him in that jack strap. James, here I come. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the second basket is I'm trying to like make it to, I can grab one. There's so many in here. Is apparently a blank piece of paper, so no one. <laughs> Oops, apparently I left one in. I try to get it. Uh, <laughs> Dolores! Yay! Yay! That's amazing because she also committed to doing a class with Southern food and frozen and margaritas. Frozen margaritas. Thank you. Oh. Oh. This is a bribe to make her actually like follow through and well, hey, can, I make up this her can I make <laughs> those margaritas with strolling? <laughs> so there's a demand for a discount, but the Lord is smiling. So <laughs> yeah, yay! Christine said the blank one was hers. <laughs> I'm sorry, you said the blank one was hers? Oh <laughs> she should have she should have spoke up earlier. By the way, did I tell you guys that this tastes like heaven in a bowl? <laughs> I think it 
like I I've, I've actually eaten your callaloo before, so and I think it would be good just with like in like with bread, like in jewelry bread or or I just dip it in there, like with a little like bit of olive oil, 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 oil and garlic on top. Of, oh my god! So funny thing. story. We go out to a party in Trinidad. You know, you have cocktails, you're hanging out with your family, and then we come home, and the only thing to eat in the refrigerator is the callaloo. Now, my aunt makes it, and she tells you, do not touch it. Do not touch the callaloo, do not touch it. But it's four o'clock, five, six in the morning, you're hungry. So, and Trinidad has the best cheese. I don't even know what kind of cheese it is. We just call it Trinidad cheese. That's not from Trinidad. I don't know where it's from, it's good cheese. And so they have a, a bread called hops bread. I don't know how they make it, but it's the best bread ever. And so you put two slices of cheese in there and you put the callaloo in there and you put the hops bread on top of it. Oh my God. <laughs> so, sugar. For two days and it's open up. <laughs> so after half an hour, sugar. Down at the bottom, this is what mine is looking like. Oh, oh! Let's see what well, yours looking like. Little time, right? But how does it smell? I mean, it smells amazing. It's the most amazing thing. And Adriana and Liliana, if you guys want to come down, I can give you some so you can taste it. I also couldn't put pumpkin, so I used butternut squash. I want to make that one caveat. <laughs> Well, it should work. Well, oh, that's, that's one thing I made a note of when you were talking about pumpkin. I feel like you can always find pumpkin in Chinatown because they have Chinese pumpkins and they're huge and they will give you just a slice of them. So oh. it's, it's like yeah. they're, they're like a pumpkin kombucha squash sort of hybrid, the big Chinese pumpkin. So if you, oh. if you can find pumpkin, go to Chinatown. All right. <laughs> Or, or you can come in my neighborhood because again, it's a it's a winter vegetable. So yeah. right now it's in absolute. Oh, and my new favorite thing is I steam. I take I get the big head of cauliflower and uh, a big thing of broccoli, and I steam it in a, um, in my steamer, and I keep it in my refrigerator. So that too is a thing that I'll probably do. Take it out. Take some out put it in a bowl, and then put the callaloo over it. Ooh. But the best part about eating callaloo is when you're finished with everything, then you get to eat the crab, and you get to eat that with your hand. So you bite into it. I wouldn't do it now because it's too savage. But it's a savage. <laughs> and you're such a lady. And I am such a lady. <laughs> right? But you bite into it, and you, first you have to just suck it. You suck it, suck it, get all the juice out of it. And then you bite into it. And then you just like, oh, it's like, did you ever eat a mango, a really ripe mango? And when you bite into it, the juice just runs down your arm. And you don't know, your head has never done that. Your neck has never reached so far. But you are able to lick the juice from here all the way back up. Can you tell I have like a little obsession with food? <laughs> Trinidad has the most amazing food. Um, in the video that I made, we make roti. Roti is, uh, again, Trinidad is a very um, culturally diverse kind of place. So it was one of the, I'll give you a few, quick, few one of the first countries to, one of the first uh, Caribbean islands to be uh, independent, meaning they free, all the slaves were free. And it was a peaceful uh, agreement. There was no war. Um, it was also uh, the first Black Miss Universe was from Trinidad, Penny Commission. Okay. Um, again, back to the food. So we have Jen loves her doubles. I love doubles. Oh my God. Every time Sugar I, says she's having a party, I'm like, you going to have some doubles? You're doubles, right? <laughs> so, doubles? Are you making doubles? Are you ordering doubles? We That's have a huge East Indian culture. So we get a lot of curried curry chicken and curry goat and curry everything and the barra is the bread and she asked me to make right she asked me to make doubles but i don't know how to make the barra i don't know how to make the bread so i wouldn't even um because it's such a special thing i wouldn't insult it um we can try it together we, we can try, try it, it. we can definitely try it yeah 
Corn soup, again, is a huge thing. Um, you go to a fet, you go to a party. After the fet, you buy corn soup, right? And you go home and it fills you up. It has dumplings, corn, dumpling, um, <laughs> potatoes. Then shark and ba bacon shark. Don't say shark and bacon. It's bacon shark. Right? If you ever watched, um, what is it, Zimmerman? He went to uh, the, the guy in the cooking show. I just had his name. I lost it anyway. He went to he went to Trinidad, and one of the beaches in Trinidad, Maracas Bay, is famous for its baked shark. And they fry the shark, and bake is another kind of bread that is fried. And you put it in there, and you put tamarind sauce and all these kind of condiments in it, and it's the most amazing thing. And the fact that you're eating it on the beach, in your bathing suit, with sand on your feet, just adds to the whole beauty of the thing and the water is there and the water is coming in and then you see the mountain it's just oh it, it, it's the most beautiful thing ever was, so was we that, have, i'm sorry was that andrew simmons in yes yes he went to Tibet. he went to trinidad on uh that show he has with unusual things to eat or whatever yep, yep. you should google it Anyway, you need to Google Trinidad Carnival because you're going to be like, it's amazing. It's the most unusual. It's the most extravagant. It's the most fantastical thing ever. And if I could take all of you there. Hopefully someday. If not someday. next year or the next year, someday soon. Someday in a free world. We <laughs> oh, love you so much, sugar. And this has been wonderful. I feel like we've been hanging out all night, and yep. that's my goal always to just hang out with you all night. <laughs> so this was a great night. Yeah, and sugar. Yep. Cheers, everybody. And sugar, we have Justin Time Surreal from Washington saying hello. Hi. Oh. Oh my God, I miss all the people. I know, like, people that are the neighbors and anyone joining that don't fully know what the Imperial Court is. We are a nonprofit organization. There are over 70 chapters of this idea and the way we do things around. Uh, also, Michael. Um, are you uh, around North America, started in San Francisco, and we used to travel to each other rounds. It's always fun, but of course, 2020, we couldn't. <laughs> um, so we're all itching to get back into that groove of things. But um, like Sam says, we want to thank you, Sugar. It was my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. And I'm sorry if I talk too much. Can't help oh. that. Look at, look, at the pepper. look at the peppers. Neighbors, <laughs> whoever needs peppers, please come get some. With many, with many, many doses of Kalaloo. Yeah, I act, yeah, yes. I have Kalaloo, I have crab, I have peppers, I have Trini meals. Yay! Please don't let me bring them all by myself. Because I will. I think the only thing we have to say, because we're already running over the hour, I mean, I guess if people are still watching, we're still here, but the only thing we have to announce is that on March 11th, we have a special guest, Empress Savannah Devereaux from Rhode Island. She's going to join us and do her own cooking thing. Michael, do you know any more about what she's going to actually make? Or So we haven't confirmed that yet, but I'm just happy because Sugar is my first ever drag mother in the court system. And Savannah is also one of my drag mothers. So family all around. And it's going to be fun. Savannah's a beast in the kitchen. So get ready. That's coming. We'll announce everything on March 1st, but join us March 11th. We have another special guest that's confirming for April and so on and so forth. And we've now had her. And Dolores. Dolores. We have Pecan Candy requests. <laughs> hey, maybe we can get this. Somebody else said that Dolores do it and then when we tell them okay you're on they're like oh shit i really have to do it right <laughs> yeah it's fun we're all just hanging out so well right. and also i um uh, my my neighbor downstairs um she does an amazing blog um laura and um she's having a jackson high challenge right now and i meant to get more information about it but i'll email it i'll put it out on my facebook page um, Jackson Heights has the most amazing 
again, very diverse. I always tell people I live in the middle of the world. Um, we have the most amazing diversified culture here. We have the best Indian food and Colombian food and Filipino food. As a matter of fact, Coco, I will find you Woo! here. Come on. Like, I love your grocery stores because they have like Asian ingredients and South American ingredients. They have everything. Everything. Like anything you want. Just walking down the street, you hear 14 different languages. And again, it's the most amazing thing. I And I will promote Laura's um, Jackson High Challenge on my Facebook page so that we can maybe all, it's a food challenge. Who doesn't want to walk around and taste the food? Come on. And we, we have dumpling trucks on the corner and uh, um, we have a uh, taco truck that has a line that goes around the corner. I mean, it's the most amazing thing. So um, if you guys ever want to come to Jackson Heights, let me know. I'll be here. Mm -hmm. A food tour with sugar. Yes. Ooh, food I love that you bring up Filipino food, sugar. I have lumpia right here, ready to make. I have lumpia. Uh, see now, I um, Coco <laughs> Queens, and we went to get lumpia, and but I don't eat a lot of pork and whatever. So she's always like, "You can't go with me anymore because you don't." Eat <laughs> <laughs> then I introduced her to the most amazing uh, empanada place, and then it went out of business. No, like I literally knocked on the metal gate. Hello. Are you there? Yeah, our restaurants, our restaurants right now are in the most dire straits. So, like, support yeah. your favorite places. Yeah. Order way too much. Ooh, indoor dining on Friday. It's the best news. Yeah, indoor Thank dining on Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Cuomo. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look, wasn't he sexy though? I think he's sexy. <laughs> Just because he yeah, he allows things. So it's his hands. When he talks with his hands, I'm like <gasps> It's almost as good as food, but okay. We're gonna... But yes, and <laughs> this is literally what it's like when we all hang out. By the way, this is just how the conversation goes. Well, that was the whole like process of this. We're like, yep. oh, we hang out, we come and we hang out. So just imagine did, you know what happened? Happened? did you know he was single? Can you give me my number, somebody? <laughs> oh my god! If you and Cuomo hooked up, that would be a weird. Amazing. I'm only just a queen. Oh my God. First lady of New York City. State. <laughs> State. State. Come on, New York State. Who can make that hookup happen? Please. I will donate a hundred dollars if you can make the date happen with sugar <laughs> and Oh girl, let me eat something because I can't say nothing else. <laughs> And speaking of donations, please go to the PayPal link in the in the comments. It's so it's so <laughs> Donate to Princess Janae Place. And also, Sugar Cup talking about all the amazing Trinidadian food and the link I showed her. So there is random wine that I found on TikTok. I posted it in the comments. It's a um, Trinidadian chef that I think lives in New York in one of the boroughs, I believe. Or New Jersey, one of the two, and she all that stuff is right there. And the video I posted was the green seasoning. The green seasoning, that's right. Green seasoning. Uh, so take a look. Uh, all right, there. She might have been watching. She asked me on TikTok for the link, so maybe she was here. Um, but yeah, it's just please donate. Again, the link for Princeton Place is open until the end of the month. Yeah. And. Yeah. Please continue to donate and thank you very much for supporting us and watching me and my neighbors. I love you guys. Yes, neighbors. Love you, guys. <laughs> love you, sugar. We love you. Oh, wait, yes. yes. I'm I'm you. Some music going out. Yes. Hello. 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 Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.